Hi everyone, Professor Gustin here. Um, as I was putting together this we, this week's material, I always look over what I had in it last time, and I just checked the video to see if I had anything that I might have forgotten to remind you. I checked my video from last year, and as I started that video, I noticed that the video was not for microbiology, but it was for my other course, human biology. And my students from last semester listened to that video, hopefully some of them did, and no one told me that I had the wrong video in there. And I just thought it was kind of funny that everybody's kind of, oh, well, we'll just go on. But um, I just wanted to take that as an opportunity to thank everyone who has told me when I have mistakes. You know, sometimes I post the wrong thing or I didn't post something or you can't get into a link. And I really appreciate it. It helps make the course more accessible for everyone. It reduces frustration, it helps me keep some quality control. Just last week, somebody in week, in the week 11 lab found a link that was no longer active and not only let me know that the link was no longer active but actually found a link for some content that would effectively replace the content that was no longer active so i really really appreciate that kind of help and um, all semester i've gotten lots of emails and lots of help um, from all different people so i thank you again for for all all you folks that have done that and continue to do that um, so we can try to keep this course really accessible for everybody. So this week we're going to work on vaccines. Uh, I think vaccines is one of the really important topics that you cover this semester. As you know, even in the news with all COVID and all that, that vaccines have gotten kind of a bad reputation. And you have to go back to the, the, um, the beginning when we didn't have vaccines and people actually had to have more kids because um, they knew a couple kids would die of infectious disease. It was really common. I think we've gotten kind of complacent and, and we don't really appreciate the absolute scientific um, blessing that, that, that vaccines have given us. Um, we really have, um, science has, has given us a tool that prevents us from having to get sick, prevents us from having to go through taking certain medications and going through procedures that themselves can cause problems. So um, if occasionally you hear about somebody that has a reaction to a vaccine, it's very, it's very uncommon compared to the complications we would have if people actually got these diseases. So you guys should, um, I really hope that you are well versed and have a good understanding of vaccines so you can help people understand the absolute importance for us getting vaccines in order to live in the world that we live in today. So I have a regular old lecture study guide, just like every other week. Um, one thing I made a note of is the, the content in the book far exceeds the volume of material that I need to talk about, to talk about vaccines. And, um, and so I don't recommend just going through the book to fill in your study guide. I would instead listen to the lecture videos and I tailored them to the content in the study guide. I would use those to fill out the study guide. Even if you don't usually do that, I would do it this week um, just because there's so much information otherwise that that you will um, get lost in in the process. There's your lecture assignment. It's six points. So once you've done your lecture study guide, do your lecture assignment. The lab handout this week is um, an actual experiment that we do in the live lab. We do it every semester. And the data that you have in that handout are actual data that we collected in the classroom. So you're going to you're going to kind of do sort of an experiment. You're definitely going to analyze the results of an experiment in lab this week. And therefore, I don't have any virtual labs and I only have a lab quiz and the lab quiz is worth 20 points. I give you 30 minutes to take it because some of the questions are things like, you know, what was the hypothesis of your experiment? What are the conclusions? And it might take you a little while to type. And I didn't want to stress anyone out by having to rush typing. So, but all the answers should be in your, your lab handout. So week 12, we're moving along getting near the end of the semester and um good luck this week please let me know if you have anything you want to talk about take care